What are the ways that you use your crystal necklaces in your healing practice? My name is Sheila from Satin Crystals, and today we are going to discuss how to use your gemstones in necklace form, what their meanings are, and also answer your top five questions on crystal necklaces. Now, before we begin, make sure you've liked and subscribe to our channel because we will be releasing a lot more videos on how to use all kinds of forms and shapes of crystals in your practice. So let's begin learning about crystal necklaces. What does a necklace symbolize? Well, a necklace symbolizes your personality and the things that you hold dear to you. So it is a symbol of how you want to express yourself, how you want others to see you in the world. Necklaces also used to be and can still be a symbol of your social status. For example, if you're wearing genuine pearls or a genuine ruby necklace, that will say something different about you than if you were wearing plastic or glass beads. Necklaces, when they're gifted, they are a symbol of love and gratitude. The top five questions we are going to answer about necklaces today are, what are the meanings of crystal healing necklaces? What are the different types of crystal healing necklaces? What do ne necklaces symbolize in relationships? What is your perfect necklace length? And what or how do you care for your crystal healing necklaces? What are the meanings of crystal healing necklaces? So we know the meaning of all necklaces. Crystal healing necklaces involve certain gemstones that you can use in your healing practice. So wearing a crystal healing necklace is like a big hug for your aura. It allows you to carry the energy of the crystal with you throughout the day. So in crystal healing, you want to choose the necklace that you are working on. The intention that you're working on, you will correspond it to a certain uh, gemstone. You can have different stones on at one time, or you can choose to focus on one at a time. The great thing about necklaces is that you can layer them very easily. So you have a lot of different intentions going on at the same time. You can just layer them up. Or if you just want a single necklace, a single focus um, that you want to attract, then you will wear one at a time. So I'm going to show you a few intentions and the types of necklaces that you can use for calling in that certain manifestation. This is an example of a layer of necklaces if you are working on attracting abundance. So what I have here is emerald, jade, and aventurine, three different gemstones that relate to abundance. Now, what you wanna do first is make sure that they are cleaned, charged, and programmed for your intention. Then when you wear it, you'll be reminded of your focus throughout the day. Whenever you look in the mirror, whenever you feel your stones, you'll be reminded that you are attracting abundance, abundance into your life. Now, of course, there's a m multiple stones that you could use for abundance, but these are three as an example for you. This is a necklace set that is focused on the energy of calm serenity. So when your things are out of control, your nerves are frayed, you are feeling frustrated or anxious, you can choose calming necklaces to help you take that deep breath and focus, center and relax. Here I have an amethyst aquamarine and moonstone for that peaceful energy to fill your aura with a vibe of peace. Just like right now, hopefully you can't hear it, but there is a lot of construction going on outside. So I would choose a calming necklace to keep my nerves under control. Here is an example of a happiness necklace layer. So these are uplifting stones. We have red jasper and yellow jasper suns. We have yellow, orangish 
selenite and we have red jasper yellow jasper and sunny citrine in this necklace here so these are all uplifting gemstones to help lift your energy they also when other people see your necklaces they, it'll put a smile on their face and let the happiness spread throughout the day of course you could also choose other gemstones that make you personally happy or maybe ones that have uh, symbols of what you like maybe butterflies or kittens or little puppies on your necklaces as well so whatever is making you smile that is your happiness crystal necklace set here we have a layer of crystal healing protection necklaces now protection necklaces you can have a whole shield of on you can just layer them up like i have here here i actually have four different types of obsidian we have mahogany we have snowflake we have rainbow obsidian and we have pure black obsidian i also have a shungite pendant which is very popular popularly used for protection along with a black tourmaline necklace very popular as well for protection as you might know and in my pendant necklace locket i have a piece of jet stone and that is specifically used for protection during travels and journeys so here we have protection necklaces of course you can layer on as many as you want especially if you're feeling particularly vulnerable that day here is an example of love crystal necklaces if you are looking to open your heart chakra you might know that the heart chakra vibrates with the colors of green and red and these gemstones are great for attracting love balancing your heart chakra so you can better give and receive love energy we have rose quartz we have rhodochrosite, we have this green chrysoprase to help refresh that heart energy, and we have malachite, which is a powerful one for releasing emotional traumas that are stuck in your heart energy. So this is a whole love energy set. Those are some examples on how you could use your crystal healing necklaces and layers of necklaces for your intentions. Now you could also be wanting to balance your chakras. So if you're wanting to balance all the chakras, you could wear a necklace with all the chakra stones, like this fluorite tree of life chakra necklace that I have on, or you can use the specific strands of but gemstones that correspond to all seven chakras. Here we have from the bottom, you'd have rhyolite for your root chakra, carnelian for your sacral chakra, the yellow selenite for your sol solar plexus, a green malachite for your heart chakra, blue angelite for your throat chakra, a darker blue sapphire for your third eye chakra, and a white howlite for your crown chakra. Now you could wear these all as a layer, but another thing that you could do, which I did learn on one of my very first crystal healing lessons that I went to many decades ago, is that people would use the strands of necklaces and just place them on top of their clients' chakras. So, this is healing on the go. You could be wearing them and then when you do have time to do a layout, you could just place the stones across your chakras so that you can lie in the energy of the stone. So for example, for the crown chakra, you would lie the strand on top of your head or if you're working on somebody else, you could have the whole set available for them and place those crystals over their chakras when they are lying down. What are the different types of crystal healing necklaces? I'm going to show you a few types of necklaces that you could be wearing, and then you can head on over to the Ultimate Crystal Necklace Guide on Satin Crystals, and we have a lot more examples for you there. The first one I'm showing you is the Spiritual Crystal Healing Necklace, and this one would include your favorite deities, like this one has a Buddha here, or it could be a spiritual symbol like the Tree of Life here I have. It could be the stone itself that is a spiritual stone like 
amethyst to help you meditate and get to that higher state. It could also be angels or anything that puts you in that elevated high vibration like Moldavite as well. That would be a spiritual necklace. You have the animal crystal healing necklaces where you have gemstone carvings of your favorite animals. So this way you can, instead of just having the figurines on your desk or your altar, you can wear them with you throughout the day. Here we have the tiger's eye bear. We have a calcite and selenite weasel, and we have a serpentine quartz dolphin. So this keeps the spirit of the animal with you. It is also a very fun and cute category. You can layer up all the different little animals and reminds you of their spirits so you can embrace that element of the animal. Cage and locket crystal pendants. So these are cages and little lockets where you can place your favorite crystals. You could even place little crystal balls like this uh, cage has here. So you'll always have healing on the go if you wanna do some crystal ball gazing. You have a tiny one with you throughout the day. You could also place little written manifestations and place them in the cage or the locket so that you have a written version of what you are focused on besides the mental one that you already have when you programmed your crystal. Also, you could place little strips of aromatherapy within the cage, all kinds of things you can put with your crystals in your cage and locket pendants, little treasure holders. Knotted necklaces are a version of beaded necklaces. So I didn't talk about beaded necklaces because I assume you know that all the necklaces that are beaded or strung with gemstones, those are beaded necklaces. Knotted necklaces have silk cords that are holding the beads together and you'll see a knot between each gemstone, keeping them separate so they don't rub up against each other. Also, if the strand does break, not all of the beads will be lost. This one here is a white moonstone and this one here is a howlite. You usually find knotted uh, necklaces when you have genuine pearls as that is a popular way to string them up. So knotted necklaces. Multi-strand necklaces are beaded necklaces that have two or more strands strung together into one piece. So instead of having to scramble around for your own layer of necklaces, multi-strand necklaces already provide that multi-layer look for you, giving you a statement piece in one necklace. So here is the obsidian triple layered necklace that I wore during the protection layer. Here is the sun crystal necklaces. So these are very similar to your happiness necklaces where they are very colorful, they relate to the sun energy. You have sunstone, which is number one for any kind of solar activity and connecting with that fiery energy. We have the selenite and we have the yellow jasper in a sun frame. So these are great if you are trying to uh, channel or connect with sun energy. Here is a crystal healing moon necklace example. So what we have here is selenite in with a goddess pendant to connect with goddess Selene or goddess Luna, the moon goddess. Selenite is great for the full moon especially. Then we have a labradorite with the moon and that is great for new moon energy. And then we have moonstone with a little moon, crescent moon pendant. And moonstone, like sunstone for the sun, is used for all events that are related to the moon. So if you're doing any kind of lunar rituals or you just wanna connect with that feminine yin energy of the moon goddess, you can wear your moon necklaces. Here we have the wearable form of your crystal healing heart. Hearts, of course, are the ultimate symbol of love and gratitude and generosity. You can wear your crystal heart necklaces and even better, you can gift your crystal heart necklaces. Here we have a green aventurine, a flame quartz, and the amethyst heart that you saw for your love intentions. 
statement necklaces are big and bold and they are meant to empower you to show off your personality front and center. So here I had the fluorite chakra tree necklace that I showed you before. This is one that I beaded for myself to symbolize my I Dig Crystals jewelry line at Satin Crystals. It has a little shovel as you can see. Here is a necklace that I strung up with stones and a starfish that I have worn for every July 4th for many, many years now. So statement necklaces besides showing off your personal personality have big potential for crystal healing power as well. What do necklaces symbolize in relationships? So necklaces symbolize love and devotion when you are gifting or are gifted a necklace in a relationship. This could be a romantic relationship or a platonic relationship. So whether you are gifting or being gifted by a partner, a friend, or a family member, it all means the same, that they want to be close to your heart, that they are always near. Whenever you look at the necklace, you are reminded of them, no matter how far apart you are. So in crystal healing, you want to give a matching necklace to somebody so that you can match your vibrations as well. So no matter the distance, you are together in that crystal's vibration. Another thing that is related to relationship necklaces are friendship necklaces. And friendship necklaces are great because you can have the same design, have the same crystal, and wear them all during an event so that it stores those memories with you. So I'll show you three that I have made in past events. And you could also find two of these on satin crystals. The first one here is a carved malachite. It is called the Emerald Isle Necklace because it was one that my mother-in-law and I wore during her first trip abroad to Ireland for her 70th birthday. And so that necklace will always have those memories for me. This second one here is a carnelian and a slice of pizza that I wear with four of my best friends. So when we do come together, the little slices all create a whole pie. And this last one here is a peridot and a fishbone necklace that you could also find on satin crystals. This was created during a group trip with some family members and friends of mine. We all went to my mother's home country of Thailand and we had some great memorable uh, memories there. And the peridot reminded me of the smiling country, that is what the Thailand is known for, and so is Peridot, the stone. And the fish bones reminded me of a tropical place. So these friendship necklaces or event necklaces will always have those meanings. And besides the memories, you can keep the crystal energy with you throughout the day and just have those warm feelings of days gone by and days to come with your friends and family. What is your perfect necklace length? Now, as you see, I had to zoom out so you can see all of the lengths available. Everybody will differ a little bit in body type, so the necklaces will hang a little bit differently. But on me, I will show you the styles and names and lengths according to how short or long they are. So first of all, we have the collar necklace. The collar necklace is this moonstone, or sorry, obsidian moon necklace that you see at my neck. Collar necklaces are between 12 and 14 inches, and they're usually on the neck, around the middle of the neck. Next is the choker necklace. The choker necklace you can see here is this hedgehog moldavite necklace I have on. It is between 14 to 16 inches and falls at the base of the neck. Usually the choker necklaces you see are the rigid metal types of neck wires, but this is where they lie. Next is a very popular princess necklace. This is a popular length, 16 to 19 inches. This one here, the Labradorite Moon Pendant is at uh, 18 inches on me. And then we get to the longer territory. 
The next one is a matinee length. The matinee length is from 19 to 24 inches. So this Moldavite necklace here is a matinee necklace. This one I can actually slip over my head without having to um, hassle with a clasp. So depending on the size of your head will depend on which necklaces you can put over your head without using the clasps. After the matinee necklace we have the um, opera necklace. The opera necklace is 28 to 34 inches long and at this point if you're getting into the longer necklaces you can start to double them over if they're long enough so that they layer. The matinee necklace I have on here is the moonstone moon necklace. Next is the rope necklace which is 34 inches to 48 inches. So the rope necklace you can definitely double over. And lastly, the longest necklace I have on is the lariat. And the lariat is any necklace from 48 inches all the way up. You can go all as long as you want. And of course, this you can wrap up in various formations. The lariat necklace is not as popular because it is so long, you can't really wear it at this length as it'll just flop around whenever you're walking anywhere. But it's great for just slipping over your head and of course to layer, uh, double it up around your neck. Now these are the traditional lengths of necklaces. If you are Looking for ones that you can slip over your head, choose the longer ones. If you're looking for something to slip under your clothing, for example, you might want the crystal energy with you, but you don't really want to show off the style. If you're at work or somewhere more conservative that you don't want to show your crystals off, you can place the longer necklaces under your clothing. Shorter choker necklaces are great if you want to show off your energy front and center. Now for crystal healing, you could also use the necklaces as chakra openers depending on the necklace length. So for example, here I have a burnt citrine stone on the lariat necklace, which is perfect for the sacral chakra. If it was a little bit shorter, maybe where this rope, rope necklace was, I could use it for the solar plexus chakra. So this corresponds to the chakra that it is falling over. If the moon obsidian necklace here was a blue stone, I could use it for the throat chakra as an example. So there you have it, all the different lengths that you could choose from. How do you care for your crystal necklaces? Now, first of all, there's so many different types of necklaces. We'll first talk about the metal necklaces. Now, metal will tarnish, it may oxidize, it may change colors, it may peel over time. So you can either enjoy this urban decay or you can try to retain its original shine. If you have precious metals like sterling silver or um, Carrot gold, you can use a polishing cloth that's specific for that metal, and that'll help retain its shine. We also have a cleaning solution that we use here as satin crystals. Um, I'm sure there's different ones, but the one we use here is Shine Bright, and all you need to do is place the metal into the solution to help it shine again. Now, this will work for a lot of different metals, not all of them, and it will not be good for softer stones, porous stones, and for stones that are polished as it may remove some of the polish, so you just have to be aware of that as well. Now, plated metals like this silver, plated brass chain here will peel, it will change colors over time depending on the conditions it's been in. So you can either just accept that or you could just buy a chain that's already antiqued from the beginning. And these antiqued chains are already, they already have that vintage look so you don't really have to worry about cleaning them that much. This chain here is a gunmetal brass is already black so it won't change much. It could oxidize and turn green depending on the conditions as well but usually the black chains will not change colors too much. Now as I said the gemstones you have to be careful of if you are using a solution 
or even water. So you need to know your particular gemstone and how to take care of it. For example, this is selenite, a very, very soft stone. We have just gone over how to use and care for selenite. So make sure to go back and watch those vi videos if you do have selenite. You do not want to use water with selenite. Beaded necklaces, you can see, will need to be restrung every once in a while. Just like your stretch bracelets or any other piece of jewelry, the components of the jewelry will start to wear down as you wear it, especially if you wear it a lot and especially if you wear it while you're sleeping or while you're showering or while you're doing exercise. More harsh conditions, you're going to want to get your uh, jewelry restrung much more often. So as you can see, the string here is starting to um, stretch out a little bit. So I will have to restring this necklace before I wear it next. Otherwise, all the beads will be all over the place. So that's a few ways to care for your crystal necklaces. Some of the gemstones you can place in water. So make sure to uh, learn about your particular stone so you can know how to do that. If you want to know how to energetically cleanse, program, and um, charge up your crystals, make sure to watch our cleansing video. Now, how to keep your crystal necklaces from tangling. This is especially an important tip when it comes to very dainty chain necklaces like this angelite necklace here because if it's together with a lot of other chain necklaces as i'm sure you know they do tend to get tangled up i'm going to show you how i keep my necklaces all on a rack they have their own space plus you can see them very clearly so you know which ones you want to wear for the day you could also place them in little pouches if you are traveling so they have their individual little containers and they're not getting all um, tangled up and as always you want to make sure that you are handling all of your crystal necklaces with great care unfortunately they are not full foolproof they will break so you want to clasp and unclasp very gently you don't want to tug you don't want to pull you don't want to yank on any of your crystal necklaces or any of your crystal jewelry plus the gemstones themselves are fragile so if you do uh, bang against something if you do drop the stones they will fracture so handle them all with care i'm now going to go over into my studio so you can see how i keep my crystal necklaces I will see you there. So here we are in my studio and you can see my collection of necklaces. They are all hanging from a rack. Uh, this was a handmade rack from Etsy. I think it's for coats or jackets. I'm not sure, but you can see that we can put little crystals on top as well showing those off and then the necklaces themselves are on their individual little rods so i can see them all easy to see which ones i want to wear for the day and they don't get tangled up so these ones here are the beaded ones that you can now find at satin crystals currently so it makes it easy for me to wear out and also when my models come they can wear those ones in the photo shoots and here are more of the corded ones more of the daintier chains so they are all together so they don't get crushed by the big guys and the daintier beaded fine gemstones and then these last four are necklaces that we used to carry it satin crystals one of a kind necklaces or ones that i was gifted so there you go, a whole rack of necklaces, which is a good idea for you as well if you need an idea for your collection of crystal necklaces. Here's a little add-on of where I have my choker necklaces. So they are on a separate rack as they tend to slide off of the other one. And choker necklaces, you can change the pendants out easily. So I usually have different pendants here same as with the chains that are just the pendant necklace chains, you can do that as well. Are you somebody who could benefit from crystal necklaces?
If you can relate to one or more of these statements, then crystal necklaces are for you. So first of all, if you are looking to open or balance any particular chakra, choose that chakra necklace to wear. If you are seeking a way to express your personality, show off your confidence, choose a large statement crystal necklace or layer up all your favorite ones. If you are working on a particular intention in healing, choose that layer of necklace so that you can have them with you throughout the day. If you are looking for an everyday necklace, which you can wear to any occasion, choose a simple crystal necklace and it'll work out for every occasion. If you are looking to work on the law of attraction, you can choose a particular necklace or you can choose the cage necklaces and place your favorite stones, your favorite uh, manifestations, your favorite scents even in those treasure chests. If you are somebody who works a lot with their hands and rings and bracelets get in the way while you're typing or you're beating, whatever you're doing, crystal necklaces are the perfect alternative. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Stay tuned for a lot more crystal healing information coming your way. If you need to add to your crystal necklace collection, head on over right now to Satin Crystals. We have a whole collection of natural crystal healing gemstone necklaces to choose from, like all the ones I have on right here. While you're there, join the VIP club. It's free, it's easy. We send out information every single week. We also have an SMS program where you can input your phone number and we will text you out the most important information every week as well. As always, thank you for your positive energy as Satin Crystals and thank you for spreading your light into our world.